What do you think happens to old shipping containers after they are no longer in use? No, they don't just become scrap metal. In this video, you'll learn what can be built from an old shipping container, the advantages and disadvantages of this technology, and how to construct such a summer house on your own. Enjoy watching! Shipping containers, originally designed for transporting goods and ships around the world, have found an unexpected and very creative use in construction. They are used to construct various buildings, ranging from ordinary residential homes to business premises. These buildings can have different configurations and sizes, depending on the customer's needs. The modularity allows for unique architectural solutions, including multi-story buildings and even complexes of several containers. Homes made from shipping containers are often used as eco-friendly houses and cottages. There has been a significant increase in the market lately in offers related to the construction and sale of such buildings. Moreover, shipping containers are used to build public and commercial facilities, such as cafes, shops, art studios, and even hotels. Private entrepreneurs are increasingly using container homes for their businesses. The reason is that they have started to learn about all the advantages associated with this technology. For example, building a home or a coffee shop from a shipping container is several times cheaper than using traditional technologies. Depending on the need, the cost of such a home can vary significantly. For example, a residential space for a summer house will cost more than using a container to set up a coffee shop. Moreover, the cost varies significantly depending on the size. There are four types of shipping containers – standard 20-foot, standard 40-foot, wide 40-foot and wide 45-foot. The size of the containers you want to use will determine their cost. Additionally, their condition must be considered. You will have to buy used options, as new containers would be too expensive. When buying, it's essential to check how advanced the corrosion is, whether there are any damages to the hull, dents and scratches, are there any through holes or patches. All these should be avoided when choosing. Typically, the cheapest options on the market will be in very poor condition, so they are unlikely to be suitable. The cost of a container in good condition can range from $2,000 to $5,000. Such a wide price range is due to sizes and their condition. Usually, delivery is not too expensive. Next comes the rough work stage inside the building, which will cost at least $1,000. The exact amounts will depend only on your work plan and whether you use the services of builders. After all, many prefer to save money and build homes themselves. The final stage is the finishing of the premises and its furnishing. To create a beautiful interior design with furniture and appliances will cost at least $10,000, while simple finishing will cost $200 to $300. Of course, savings are possible here too, by doing the work yourself and buying cheap furniture. But even in such conditions, the price will not differ significantly. In the case of building a facility for business, such as a coffee shop, you need to add all the necessary equipment to this amount. In the end, the cost of a finished facility with simple finishing using shipping containers will be about $10,000. Of course, everything will also depend on the furniture and equipment you wish to use, as well as the purpose of the building. Building homes from shipping containers is an innovative approach that has several undeniable advantages. For example, it is a very eco-friendly technology. Using shipping containers in construction contributes to their recycling, reducing the amount of metals sent to landfills. Thus, it reduces waste production resulting from human activity. This is a very important factor in our realities, as the amount of garbage seriously affects the planet and may soon become a huge problem. The second advantage is the speed of construction. Homes made from shipping containers can be assembled much faster than using traditional technologies. The modular design of the containers allows for shorter construction times and consequently reduces labor costs. This leads to the third advantage – lower cost. Shipping containers are relatively affordable building blocks. Their use can significantly reduce the overall cost of construction, especially compared to traditional building materials. You won't need to build walls and a roof for the building, as the container's hull serves this purpose. Only materials for interior finishing are required. Another advantage is that shipping containers made of steel are highly strong and durable. This makes homes made from them resistant to various climatic conditions, as well as providing protection against fires and even earthquakes. Thanks to their strength and stability, such buildings can be used in absolutely any conditions. For example, many homes have been built using this technology somewhere in the mountains. It's enough to simply bring a ready-made home and place it on a foundation. 
The modular construction of containers is an indisputable advantage. It allows for creating various designs and architectural forms. You can build both small summer houses and large commercial facilities from several containers. And of course, an undeniable advantage of using containers is the mobility of the entire structure. This parameter is especially important in the case of using the building for business. Moving a coffee shop or a small shop from one place to another is simple. All you need is a truck and a crane. You won't even need to redo the interior. Everything will remain as it was. The last advantage of this construction is the innovativeness of the architectural solution. Building from shipping containers allows for implementing modern projects while attracting attention with their non-standard nature and aesthetics. Coffee shops built inside a shipping container are very popular. But don't think that using this technology is the only solution, which has no disadvantages. Despite numerous advantages, building from shipping containers also has certain downsides. The first and main one is limited dimensions. The standard sizes of shipping containers, while offering modularity, can restrict the space inside the home. Too small an area can create discomfort. For a small coffee shop this might not be a big issue, but for residential space it's critical. For instance, the ceiling height will never exceed 2.5 meters, and fitting a huge bedroom or a jacuzzi in your bathroom may be impossible. The second significant drawback is that shipping containers were not originally designed for housing, and they might have inadequate thermal and sound insulation. This requires additional expenses for insulation and treatment, which can increase the total cost of the project, although the cost will still be considerably lower compared to brick constructions. However, this issue needs a lot of attention, otherwise you risk ending up with a poor quality, cold and damp space. The third downside is uneven walls. The container structure includes special stiffness ribs and metal embedments, which can create problems when setting up walls. The problem is solvable, but it reduces the internal volume of the space. Additionally, it's another expense and labor effort in construction. Paying attention to the foundation is also important. Due to the weight of shipping containers, only high-quality and robust technologies should be used. This might increase the cost of construction, especially in regions with unstable soil. However, costly foundations would be required for other constructions in such areas as well. Ventilation in the finished space is another issue. The lack of natural air circulation in shipping containers can create significant problems. Implementing an effective ventilation system also adds to the overall cost. Another downside is the need for careful selection of containers. We mentioned the necessity of choosing robust, intact and non-rotten options. But if containers were used for transporting chemicals, their use in construction might require thorough cleaning and treatment to eliminate contamination risks. Moreover, safety cannot be guaranteed. So think carefully about this before purchasing. The last, not entirely objective downside is aesthetic limitations. Some may find homes from shipping containers incompatible with surrounding buildings or less appealing visually. Of course, this can be addressed with a special design project, but there might still be those who protest against placing, for instance, a coffee shop in a city park. It's important to pay attention to complying with all technologies when constructing such a building. You should think ahead about how to deal with all the disadvantages of using containers and how to take advantage of their benefits. Regarding heat loss, insulation and heating of the space, it's crucial to install energy-efficient windows and doors. High-quality options help minimize heat loss and improve the overall efficiency of heating and air conditioning systems. When choosing insulation, consider the limited space inside the container. Special insulation foam might be the best option, as it can easily cover all micro-cracks in the container walls. Another previously unmentioned issue to consider during construction is the sewage system. In the context of limited space, this becomes a particularly acute issue, so it should be studied during the building's planning phase. One main reason to choose construction using shipping containers is its simplicity for DIY builders. What consumes the most time, effort and energy in building construction, erecting walls and a roof, is not required, as the container itself serves these roles. This technology is an excellent option for enthusiasts who want to build a home with their own hands. As with any construction, special attention should be given to the project. It should account for all aspects previously discussed. Also, before starting construction, study the country's legislation, as many homes may not pass registration due to violations of technological norms during construction. This includes the strength of the foundation, fire safety and home heat loss. Subsequent stages include laying the foundation, installing the container, processing it, engineering, insulation and finally finishing. 
The last stage is probably the most enjoyable, when a cold container transforms into a warm, cozy space. Use high-quality materials resistant to changes in humidity and temperature. For instance, cheap wood may spoil in such conditions. Pests, mold and fungus often arise in high-humidity areas, problems linked to insulation and ventilation issues. Therefore, choose materials that won't absorb moisture, like tiles or plastic panels. Using these materials, you are unlikely to face fungus growth inside your home. And that's it! The construction is complete. In reality, it's quite simple, as many issues are resolved during the planning stage. Even working alone, you can manage in half a year. With helpers, finishing can be done in just a few months. There's a common misconception that using containers won't result in a beautiful house. In reality, those who say this are greatly mistaken. Take guest houses, for example. They are increasingly being constructed using containers due to their immobility. And just look at the interesting design and engineering solutions applied in them. For instance, in this house, six containers were used, creating a spacious interior. From the outside, it's apparent that the house was constructed with shipping containers, but inside it doesn't feel that way at all. There's a large, very bright and beautiful hall, several rooms, and most captivating, a dining room with a splendid view. This project solved all the issues related to limited space. To achieve such a large living room, all they had to do was combine three containers. The house also had a second floor, which houses a very beautiful and spacious bathroom, offering a view of the property. It's hard not to agree that this house looks absolutely stunning. However, you should be prepared for certain problems we haven't mentioned earlier. For example, due to the specifics of container construction, stacking them in multiple layers is only possible one on top of another. If your designer has planned a house where one container lies in the middle of another, you will need to reinforce the area where it will be placed. Another nuance you might face due to the limited space inside such a house is the need to use large windows. The reason for this is that the brain finds it easier to accept limited space with panoramic glazing, preventing any feelings of discomfort. And of course, considering the extensive glazing required for a house, there arises a question of security. With classic windows and doors, it's much simpler. You can use grills or shutters. However, they would look terrible on panoramic glazing. So you need to think about how you will protect your home from unwanted guests. Today, you've learned even more about building with shipping containers. Thank you for watching.